boys. What is up? It is your boy D, and this is D's Cards. Welcome back to Sealed Only Sparring, episode eight. You ain't like it, freaks! If this is your first time here, this is the series all about me and my buddy Kyle working our way up to playing our first OTS locals with only sealed product. And if this is your first time on the channel, this channel is all about content for the boys, regardless of gender. I want to thank you for stopping by and invite you to hit that notification bell as well as that subscribe button. You may have noticed that my background is a little different. Your boy D has moved into a new house and this is going to be the studio from now on. Just moved in, so I got a little bit of decorating to do, but I hope you guys like the place. <laughs> I did not get it thanks to Yu-Gi-Oh! ad revenue. We did make it happen, so thanks to everybody for watching this series and following me along my transitions in life. Right now the record is 5-2. Kyle has won the last two, and he's doing pretty awesome. <laughs> I will admit that I'm a little embarrassed to say I forgot to record the intro to this episode way back when I recorded this. It's like well mid into July now. Because I'm Derek from the future, I can give you a few announcements that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to though, like the Discord server that Kyle set up that you guys should definitely click the link and join below so you can hang out with the boys, talk to us on there, maybe even do a little bit of remote dueling. The other thing is that episodes 8, 9, and 10 are all going to be with the previous ban list because we filmed the duels for all of those before July 1st. I'm going to miss you using this card in my deck when the ban list drops in what? the. 1st of July. I'm going to miss this card. In this week's opening, we're going to go right back into Infinity Chasers. We really need to get that River Stormer, and we really need to get that Harvester to boost up the power and consistency of our deck. Can't believe we opened the whole box and didn't get a single Harvester or River Stormer. Kind of ridiculous, but this one is going to be the one, so let's get it going, boys. All right, boys, it would appear that we are back for some more punishment from Infinity Chasers. Boys, I really need that another copy of Harvester, at least one. Keep your fingers crossed for me. I mean, there's not a whole lot of other things from the set that I'm missing, except the Harvesters. I mean, that's just a key starter that I'm missing from the deck, and I'm bricking for it, you know? Kyle's gonna be off to the races for a while, unless I can pull that card. I mean, I just, you know, like I said, I'm really not able to put up those XZ's monsters consistently, and I think I need to be. All right, so we're starting off with an Arcanite Magician. Spell Absorption, we got another King of Heavy Industry, a Draco Sack, and a Witchcrafter Holiday. It's getting fierce out here now that Kyle's taking games, I can't be uh, dilly-dallying anymore. You know, I noticed we didn't really get any of the starters, like the main cards. Oh, Spell Book of Knowledge, cool. We didn't get any Surzeals, we didn't get any of the expensive Witchcrafter card. Mega Clops. too bad we're not pulling Zodiac, might have a much better chance of playing that. <laughs> I think this is our fourth magic cylinder. We definitely have enough of those now. Another evil eye card, magician's left hand. We got crab crane, and we got our third trencher. I don't think we're going to play three trencher, but that card looks really cool. I am not going to lie. In secret rare, I'm a big fan of the trencher. All the trouble this pack has given me, it's, it's got to be a harvester. Yeah, it's the ones you got to work for. We got the rank up magic astral force, a tanhauser gate, witchcrafter pottery, tunneler, and evil eye awakening. Like I said, boys, gotta go for heart of the cards on this one, because if we don't get another Harvester, if this is all we get <laughs> in the opening, we're, I'm going to have to do some serious thinking. Oh my goodness. Because I don't know how I'm going to beat Kyle. I mean, unless I go first. If I win the die roll, that'll help a lot. But even still, Mountain Smasher, Derek Crane. We got three Derek Crane now. Witchcrafter, Scroll. I don't have any super bullet trains. I don't know if that's in this set. Might have to keep opening Legendary Season 2. Legendary Duel Season 2. Tunneler and an Evil Eye Repose. Man, those Tunnelers. It's a good card, but... Not if you're only... It's a good card, but not at more than one. Needle, Collaboration, and Creation. Once again. I'm going through this quick, because... For the last couple episodes, you guys have seen me opening this. And I gotta imagine it's... Not very exciting anymore. Mountain Smasher, another Derek Crane Sky Magician, and Evil Eye Mesmerism. I don't remember seeing that card. Maybe I don't have any of those. But man, they short, really short print the cards that are needed for all three of these archetypes in here. Pretty crazy. Spin Turn, Schmietta, Marshalling Field, and another Holiday. Two packs left, boys. Wonder Wand, Confronting the Sea, Edel, Collaboration. Oh, thank God. 
We got a River Stormer. Oh my goodness. That's so important. Now we have a rank 5 that only needs two monsters, and we have consistency added to the deck. We can search our Harvester now. We can play three Brutal Dozer now, boys. All right, we got the River Stormer. <laughs> you hear my legitimate sigh of relief? Bound Wand, Drag Shuffle. Sh I always say Shuffle. Arcanite Magician, Heavy Industry, and Xerzeal. I think uh, we got enough of those, but there he is, boys. Card we actually need. Infinitrack, River Stormer. Cutting over to the deck. All right, boys, let's start it off with the extra deck today. Super excited because we pulled the Infinitrack River Stormer. This card is going to be huge in helping us increase the consistency in this deck. I've already had two cheeks clapped and I don't have a third, so I can't let Kyle take the win again. So we're going hard adding this guy to the deck. Two level five monsters, detach a material, lets you search an earth machine and either add it to your hand or send it to the graveyard. So you could send Machina Citadel for, to, straight to the graveyard, for example, which is pretty badass. Then if it's in the graveyard, you contribute a machine link monster, aka the Goliath, and special summon it in defense. And then you'd be able to attach the Goliath as material using Goliath's effect which as a follow-up, you get another search, which is pretty awesome. So now I'm super excited to have River Stormer in the deck. We got the Earth Slicer, Secret Rare Boy, three Infinitrack Goliaths, one King of Heavy Industry, the Mountain Smasher and the Draco Sack for our rank sevens, Gimmick Puppet Grinder for our rank eight. We have Enter Blathnir for our non-Earth Machine rank nine, Transcode Talker and Nightmare Griffin. Uh, we're also playing the Crystron Halky Fibrax, though we can't really make it as you'll see in the main deck in a second. Cyframe Lord Omega is also just taking up wasted space, but oh well, nothing really better to put in there. And then our team mascot, Parasycroid, to round it off. Hope we pull an instant fusion one of these days to make it. All right, so now you check it out. We got this anchor drill in there, and we've upped it to we've upped it to two Infinitrack Trenchers. I feel like that is going to be good because of the River Stormer that we have now. We can start increasing the amount of Infinitracks that we're playing without worrying about bricking as hard. Cut that lefty and righty driver out altogether. That was just shit seeing <laughs> lefty driver in my hand instead of the righty. So we got the Harvester, one copy because that's all we have. Drag Shovel and Crab Crane. These guys can search spells and traps, which is pretty cool. And uh, I'd rather see one of these than the lefty or righty driver most of the time. And I don't think we're gonna brick. One Tunneler, and now we're up to three Brutal Dozers. We have good ways to get monsters on the board. And this guy can search from the deck, so I really am not too worried about consistency at this point. We're playing one Outrigger Extension and two Spin Turn. Took out the Crusher Run, because I have to wait for Kyle to do something. Now we can set up River Stormer real easy. We got the big boy, still at two, Machina Citadel, three Fortress, three Gear Frame. No shot we're getting Metal Cruncher because Etco is so expensive. Two Irradiator, one Megaform, three Redeployment, down to two Overdrive to not overdo it on the trap count. We got three Scrap Recycler. You can pitch something to the graveyard, an Infinitrack monster like Harvester. And then if we summon Brutal Dozer off of this, special Trencher from deck, then we can make River Stormer, detach the Trencher, and then special the Harvester or whatever other Infinitrack card, maybe with a Crab Crane to search Outrigger Extension, for example, and uh, get that effect off. Then we have three Kaiju to deal with either the Savage or the Borlo Dragon. Now we're main decking a Lancia and a Phantasme because like I said, I can't let Kyle take this so we're countering hard on his deck with this one. But we are also playing straight into Twin Twisters with three Solemn Strike. So let's hope he's not playing three of those. Let's end it off with a side deck. Two limiter removal because this card is so fucking funny. Damage step limiter removal. Oh my gosh. The third trencher just in case we're so consistent with that one combo that we need the third one. I doubt it. Two crusher runs. Still not a terrible card but I again don't like waiting around. One red reboot. Drowning Mirror Force, Imperial Order, Barrier Statue of the Drought, which is impossible for him to really deal with without using his battle phase up. But I want to know that I'm going first. I forgot I had this card. Honestly, I don't know why I took it out or whatever. Dino Miscus is back in the side deck, but I want to know I'm going first. The third Overdrive and three Cosmic Cyclone. This deck's going to be a pretty awesome way to get myself out of the slumps. Just seems a lot more consistent, a lot more streamlined. There's less shenanigans in there. So let's cut over to Kyle and see what he's working with to take the 3 0 sweep. Here we go with episode eight. The one thing I'm gonna say is I'm extremely happy that we are finally winning some games. We got two back to back and maybe we can make this number three. It'd be so cool if we can get to five, that way we can turn around what started in the beginning of the series with D taking me on five to zero. Animal!
but we'll see if it gets there when it gets there. But with all that being said, let's get on to the opening. Like I mentioned in last week's episode, I do have one more 2020 Mega Tan that I actually bought from Derek, and I still have a few Legendary Duelist Season 1s, so I'm gonna roll the dice again to see which one we're opening, and yeah, let's just get into it. All right, so like I mentioned in the intro, I'm gonna roll my dice to see which of the Legendary Duelist Season 1s we open. I'm gonna do odds on this side, even on this side, so let's get that going. It is an odd, so we will take the left hand box and save this for another time. And we have a 2020 Megaton. So I'm gonna crack these open, just pull the packs out. All right, so with the season one, I'm actually looking for the Red Ice Fang with Chain for the promo. So it'd be pretty cool if we could pull that out of this one and not get another Millennium Eyes Restrict, but, oh, okay. Well, at least it wasn't Millennium Eyes, right? Red Eye Slash, pretty cool looking guy, but not really useful for us. I'm gonna just continue off with the opening, sort of how I've been doing it, do one, 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 one. Out of the first 2020 Mega 10 pack, we should see a Romulus. I'm just, you know, saying it out there to actually hope that it happens. But let's go with it. Abominable Chain, Chamber of the Unchained, Extra Hero, Marincess, Tenny Spirit, A Tenny Spirit, Salomon Grant, Dances with Beast, Beat Raptor, Draco Berserker of the Tenny. Nice. It's at least a decent card. Ooh, let's go, Brotar. All right, a card we can use in the main deck. Out Trigger Extension, I believe. I think Derek might need this one. I'm not 100% sure. Barricade Borg Blocker. Yeah, Barricade Blocker. All right, so. That is that, I think that's all. Yes, that's all we're gonna need out of this. For now, we have Brotar, man, let's go. Good thing we only need one of him. Berserker of the Tenny might replace Scarlight. Go to the first pack of the season one. Um, I'm really just opening these at this point to one, round off the budget, and two, try and get a third copy of, of Black Metal Dragon, so we'll see if we get that. Rainbow Path. Ancient Gear, Ancient Gear, Crystal Abundance, Blue Eyes Toon, Relinquished Fusion, Toon World, Cursed Dragon of the Cursed Dragons, Legendary Fisherman, Meter Black Dragon, Counter Gem, Cyber Dark Horn, Black Illusion Ritual, Relinquished, back to back, that's pretty cool. Um, oh, okay, well there we go. Now we have a playset of Black Metal Dragon. I suppose I can stop opening the Legendary Duelist Season 1 now, but like I said, it would be cool to get the, the Red Eyes Fang with Chain, because that's a, a pretty good trap to search off of Black Metal. Pack number two of the 2020 Megaton. Try and speed these up a little bit. Maybe this one will have the Romulus to speak that into existence. Draw Discharge, Spiritual Entanglement. Marincess, Glider to Beast, Glider to Beast, Neo Space, Evil Eye Repose, Marincess, Shaman of the Tenyi, Witchcrafter, Evil Eye. Wow, that, that was a unfortunate pack. Season one. For some reason, these packs, maybe just because they've been sitting for a little bit, seem a little tougher to open right now. Crystal Beacon, Red Eyes Retro, Crystal Abundance, Whatever. <laughs> Red Eyes Fusion, okay, that's kinda cool. Not that we need another copy, but nice to have it. Uh, Amazonus Baby Tiger, Rainbow Overdragon, and another Curse Dragon. So we'll leave those there. Toon Gemini Elf, that's that's a cool retrain. Um, let's just keep going. Let's just get these. Bruh, are you serious? All right, well, now we have four, and we only needed three. On to that last pack of the Megatons. Hopefully we get something useful out of this, unlike that last pack. And if it's not something useful for us, hopefully it's something we can trade to D for something. Let's get it, boys. Regardless of gender, I see you, Tiff, sometimes watching these videos. Finish Track Dragon Shovel, Rocket Synchron, Hyper Psychic Riser, World Legacy, Dino Wrestler, Desperate Doom Eagle, Gladiator Rejection, Time Thief Winder, a Danger Card, Dog. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of seeing this guy. All right, well, not really anything useful to us out of this one either. Either way, we got, you know, we got some good goodness out of the packs overall. And we will see 
you guys when I figure out which cards to sub out of the deck. Okay, so there isn't much that I'm actually editing in the deck this week. I'm super hyped to have pulled these two. Um, however, I'm not quite sure if I want to be playing uh, Draco Berserker just yet. And Black Metal, having three of them is very nice. But without Romulus, it doesn't really make sense to play it. In the extra deck, I decided to switch out Nightmare Unicorn for Triple Burst. That way I have a Link 3 Dragon in case I need to get rid of LP and Pistine. For some reason, I do have a legal play to do that because you saw in the last, in one of the last episodes, I kind of cheated that. So I'm gonna not cheat that anymore. And then out of the main deck, I am taking out the Silent Graveyard for Brotar. And then out of the side deck, I'm taking out Magic Cylinder and putting Silent Graveyard in the side deck. So very quick, very simple. And that is the deck edits. We'll see you guys in the duel. Boys, welcome back. Sealed Only Sparring, episode eight. Running out of fingers to count this shit. Yeah. So Kyle is right now on a 2-0 win streak. If you're on team Kyle, you're having a good old time. Let's go, boys. I haven't been able to do a whole lot against this deck up to this point, so I went back to the lab a little bit, see if we can't take a game back in the name of these boys. I mean, maybe. Maybe. You probably maybe will. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. Savage, Borolo Dragons, pretty tough board to beat over. And my pulls maybe weren't all that great. We did make a change, though. Yeah. We did make a change. Okay. And I think it's going to help. I didn't have too great of pulls. I mean, I pulled stuff, but I only made a small little change. Probably won't make a big difference, but it is what it is. Well, let's see if that streak is going to continue or if I will be able to overcome with the big Earth Machine Boys. Big dice. All right, so we're starting it off with Lucky Seven. Let me get dicked by a six. Oh, wow. JK, I got 10. Let's go. Damn. You got a big number. Let's go. Big dice, big nuts. <laughs> Big dice, big nuts. This boy looks sus. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you dropping them bars. Yes, sir. So I start off the turn with a quick launch. Every fucking time. <laughs> squeaky, squeaky. How do you always have it? I don't know, because I run three of it. That's statistically improbable. <laughs> Maybe. It's like you almost always have one of your 15 starters. Crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so off a of quick launch, I bring out a silver rocket and banish it for. God. Oh. Wait. <laughs> I'm dumb. All right, so for some reason, I banish the silver rocket right away for red MD. Let's go. he's on the field now. Forgetting that he uh, pulls from the graveyard. Um, I think that was my mindset. You were gonna revive the silver that you banished like right off rip, huh? Yeah, it was. Dragon Ravine? And then I used Dragon Ravine to pitch Boot Sector. Activate Dragon Ravine. He had no rockets in hand either. Damn. No rockets in hand. Send Apps Router and use the effect to add Tracer to hand. Well, I am screwing up and doing a lot of misplays. I, uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna like. <laughs> ear rape wait, the wait, shit wait. out of that sound. <laughs> so clearly you're a little frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> Made some very strange noises. I set a back row. You were so streamlined last time. Okay, so I used Red MD to put that uh, tracer onto the board and then link the tracer into Striker Dragon for some reason, adding Boot Sector to hand. Okay. And then you're gonna do what, Kyle? <laughs> what so, are you gonna do? I'm so like, mad at myself yeah, right now. Yeah, you're straight up mad at yourself, holy shit. Now you got graveyard fodder. Let's go. <laughs> no, let's go. I was sitting there thinking, dude, you have full combo. You have full combo still. You still I did. have full combo. I totally screwed that what up. Did I think I Revive this... tracer. What did I think I could do? <clears throat> this was the game though that was uh after my vacation, so uh... I totally forgot how to play. <laughs> like how how do you Gi-Oh? Yu-Gi-Oh is already Yu-Gi-Oh! hard Yu-Gi-Oh! enough, man. Um... Especially for this dumb smooth brain. Thanks for <laughs> laughing at the memes on Discord, by the way. That was great. Oscar, yeah. thanks for uh, making fun of my smooth brain. Appreciate you, homie. <laughs> I actually mean it. You're not bitter. Love, love you for joining the Discord. Yeah, Kyle is super happy that you guys joined the Discord and talk shit. I put so much work into making that thing. Hype, you guys are joining. 
We actually did get a few people to join. Yeah. And we announced it mid duel last time, so hopefully, I now that I said something in the intro, somebody will join. So you also did a normal summon. Quick recap of that <laughs> turn. I pause in the video here. <laughs> let's just let's just talk, man. Let's just talk. In watching that right now, you're obviously very annoyed at yourself. Uh, it didn't feel good to watch. No. Looking back, you know you could have popped off and you could have had your full combo. A thousand percent. Silver Rocket for a striker first would be one route that you could have gone. Quick Launch could have summoned the Tracer out of your hand, pop boot, special, apps are outer, you know, the link plays, all that stuff. Yep. Even before that too. Had I left a Tracer and not linked him, I could have popped the Ravine. Fair enough. Gone on to that, but... Yeah, and you never dropped the boot sector launch either. I didn't. I was probably like so panicked at that point. I was like, you're gonna wipe my board, so I'm gonna hold it so I could bring him back from the groove. I also didn't normal summon. I also did not normal summon. <laughs> man, tough yeah. times, man. You know, you get, sometimes you go on vacation. Pour one out for Kyle in the chat below on this uh, this first turn. Uh, let's see how I capitalize on the red MD striker back row pass. <laughs> So we're starting with that Scrap Recycler Normal Summon. I actually have a pretty loaded hand compared to the bricks on bricks I had the last two games. Ooh. I was thinking Trencher, but I was all screwed up in the head. Actually, I want Harvester. Kyle's cool with it. I think the unspoken rule is once you take your hand off, it's done. Yeah, I think that's pretty fair. Brutal Dozer. So we tribute the scrap recycler special summon brutal dozer in defense mode then we go to activate brutal dozer special summon infinite track monster from the deck now we get that trencher in defense in defense um i haven't cheated yet <laughs> oh no oh no <laughs> i know huh so we finally get to bring out this beast of a rank 5 monster infinite track river stormer Consistency booster extraordinaire. So we detach Infinitrack Trencher in order to activate Riverstormer's effect. It's gonna let us dig through the deck a little bit. Off of the Riverstormer effect, we're gonna add Machina Citadel from deck to hand. God, no! <laughs> Kyle's favorite boy. It's basically Blue Eyes White Dragon. And Regeki. Pitching that Citadel to get our Machina Fortress on board. Now we're gonna activate that Trencher, banish it, and target Harvester. We're going off today. Harvester to search. So we're gonna add that Broody Boy back to our hand from the deck to increase the recoverability should Kyle break our board on the next turn. We activate the Harvester, target Fortress, make them both level 9 to get that Xyz Boy on the field. Our favorite Earth Slicer. Do you hear yourself sighing? I stay sighing. Sigh boy. <clears throat> Sigh guy. So then we go Earth Slicer, Detach 2. Target Striker Dragon and then the back row. Pop that twin and that Striker Dragon. Heading right on over to the battle phase. Attack Earth Slicer into Red MD. Activate that Earth Slicer and we get to attach it as material. And then we poke in for 25 with River Stormer. We have a few interruptions to set in yeah, Song Strike and Spin Turn. Unfortunately, the monsters themselves don't have any interruptions, but them trap cards is looking pretty. And we cleared this Twin Twisters, so that's kind of nice too. I'm gonna activate Ravine. Okay. So I activate Dragon Ravine and Pitch Black Dragon. And I send a Recharger to the Grave. And I cheat again using uh, Black Dragon's effect to search for White Dragon. Oops. Yeah, it's um... No, you caught yourself. You caught me. Oh. So. Look at me reading cards. I try to cheat again, you know. I'm keeping tabs on you, boy. And then. Uh, uh, you got the booty. So then I use Boot Sector to bring out Recharger and Tracer. Couple good ones. Yeah, at least I got two boys. Two boys. Twin Twister is probably about the only card you'd want to see right about now. <laughs> yeah, for real. And being super desperate, I decide to sink her those two boys. To Scarlet. That's your classic. Um... So, after he goes into that Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend, we are gonna flip, flip up that Solemn Strike and clear the board real quick. And uh, give me a big ol' Ripperoni for game one. Yeah. So I can do. So, GG. 
All right, boys, with that solemn strike, we are going to take it. <laughs> another one. <laughs> and we draw another one right off the top. What do you mean? Oh. <laughs> I can't do math to that. Up. Okay. Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. All right, battle phase. Let's go. All right, boys. Yeah. <sighs> Finally got to flex our deck a little bit and go a combo. So going into game two, I go first, and I normal summon Silver Rocket. Link one into Striker Dragon a. to search for Boot Sector Launch. Going the right route this time around. Yes. Hopefully it continues. The hesitation in plays tells you right now, I don't got this. I wish I knew what your hand was. I wish I knew what it was too. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right, so. Hey man, at least it's not a T set. Yeah, it's not a T set. It's a big L set. <laughs> fucking dumbass. So I set that back row, shuffle that deck, and pass. My deck still doesn't even have the consistency of a half big Dragon Link deck. It's a dark day for D-Link. Also, rip LP. <laughs> big rip to LP. I don't you could have uh, banished Striker, summon Red MD, revive Silver. Yeah, there was some stuff I could have done, but folded. Hey, you didn't. You actually played to the new ban list in this video. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yikes. Oh, oh wow. a hand trap. Ash, you shut me down, dude. But we do got the follow up with redeployment. Pitch the radiator. So we pitch that Sidadonk for the Machina Fortress and head right on over to our B phase. So we swing in with Machina Gear Frame and then Machina Fortress. Set two and pass the turn. If I, uh, Limiter removal, I think that would have been game. Yeah, I think so. Maybe I was afraid of the back row. So in the end phase, I use call by and take away Citadel. Boot sector launch to bring back Silver Rocket from the grave. So I banish the Silver Rocket to special <laughs> nothing. <laughs> A special nothing. I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. Now you're good, you keep that thing on you. <laughs> you slammed that shit on the table. Back row pass, let's go. So battle phase, we hit in with gear frame. Real slowly we get in there with fortress. Holding our little limiter removal up. <laughs> hey, let's go. Slap it down for the dub. <laughs> Very reluctantly extend the fist bump. All right, boys, that is the end of Sealed Only Sparring, episode eight. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching us duke it out. That River Stormer sure is a nice addition to the deck. Kyle, tell the people what you want to say. I'm sorry for failing you, boys. Oh, come on now. But, uh, nah. The boys will hype you up in the comments below. Hype, Keep that hype, chim up. Hype, 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 hype. Uh, Thank you guys for watching. Definitely check out the Discord and link below, as if I haven't said it enough throughout this. Yeah, we really need to actually make some use of that Discord. I'm super excited that Kyle set that up. I mean, it's probably the best way to interact with you guys that are watching these videos. Like I said, you know, I do this in my free time. It's a hobby of mine, but I would like to actually interact with the people watching my videos. It'd be really cool if maybe we could even get some remote dueling going on and share your dankest memes. Yes, the memes. We're all here for the memes, man. Is your boy Kyle going to take it on the next one? You got to tune in to find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. This time we got him. Bye.